In this episode, we will be covering the best practices involved in prompt engineering. So OpenAI provides clear instructions on this so and we'll have a look. So first things first, you should use the latest model. So when it, since we are using OpenAI Codex, uh, our latest model is the code DaVinci 002. Uh, text DaVinci 003 is mainly for text creating text completions. Second, you need to put instructions at the beginning of the prompt and use this symbol for comments to separate the instructions and the context. In this case, uh, we'll just rewrite something like summarize the text below as a bullet point list of the most important points. So you start with text. You're trying to instruct uh, the model on how to start and then where to put your put the completion. It's also used when you're trying to fine tune the model and trying to teach it. This is how you should be returning to me the results or the completions in this case. Be specific and descriptive and as detailed as possible about the desired context, outcome, length, format, style. Being precise and very detailed helps you get the a more specific result or a completion. So rather than saying write a poem about open AI, you can say write a short inspiring poem about open AI focusing on the recent dull del daily product launch. Uh, so you find you not only you not only want a poem but you want it short. You want it very inspiring and you want it about a specific topic. Next is articulate the desired output format through examples. And this is where the fine tuning came in. So you give it an instruction, give it a few examples on how you want the completion to come or how do you want the output to be presented. And it will, the more you feed it, the more it will learn and now start producing for you the format that you actually desire. Next is start with zero shot, then few shot, neither of them work, then fine tune. So you start providing just something very simple, give it a few shots to actually understand what you actually need. For example, giving it a text, you want a few keywords from this text, so you give it examples of keywords in a specific, in your text, and then you let it uh, produce for you in a new instruction. Then reduce fluffy and imprecise descriptions as mentioned in the second point. Next, instead of just saying what not to do, say what to do instead. Using words like do not, uh, instead of using the words like do not do this or give me a sentence that does not have this, tell it give me a sentence that does this, this and this. The more specific you become, the more you'll get more precise and clear completions. Next, code generation specific, use leading words to nudge the model towards. We'll see this in our, our, in our implementation where not only do you ask the model to actually write maybe a function for you, you give it the instruction and also like show it where to start. For example, in this case, write a simple Python function that does the two th yeah, instructions and then you start for it with the word import where you and we want it to start from the beginning the way we actually start files so basically these are the few uh, in, uh, directions on how to write good prompts very simple but very effective so thanks for tuning in to my to the youtube it was quite short if you're looking for more in-depth information on different concepts or parameters be sure to head over to my instagram account you'll find plenty of additional content including behind the scene photos or videos maybe plus exclusive updates and announcements so make sure to follow me on instagram for all the latest news and the link is in the description box below thanks for watching and see you on the next one